dictated very, very quickly. Uh, in fact, just today we've got a new rule where you will be able to go to the pub. Um, I'm sure a lot of the alcoholics here will be very pleased about that. That lady over there, yes, very excited. Um, but you won't be able to invite more than one family to your home unless you charge them for the alcohol. Then you can just say that you're a pub, can't you? And Adrian, I'd like to talk to you about drugs because in this new time of COVID, I believe that we should have access to whatever drugs we need so that we can, so that we can get through the trauma of existence. And ladies and gentlemen, I've got some very good news for you. Because if you can't afford your drugs, then get the people responsible for your problems to pay for your drugs. Your parents. Your parents should be paying for your drugs. Because without your parents, you wouldn't need any drugs. And therefore, I ask you, in this time of COVID, you need to be more responsible with your drug taking. Alcohol is a drug. Now look, I'm sorry to disappoint you about this, but we're meant to be remaining alert. How are you going to remain alert if you're taking alcohol? Speak to any psychiatrist and vitamin for what you want to be taking. And ladies and gentlemen, whilst we're here, I just wanted to help you relax and realise that the government have kind of made a bit of a mistake and scared a lot of you. Obviously, I haven't quite scared you lot. <laughs> which I'm not sure is a good thing. Now the thing is that they scared you and they distracted you from the actual real problem, which is the spread of a much more dangerous virus stroke parasite, which is DNA. rate of 360,000 new cases every day on this planet. That is disturbing. So please, guys, have a lovely time at the beach, but do not reproduce. Please. It is really essential that we stop with this reproduction malarkey, and we need to say high five to the homosexuals. Because no homosexual man since the beginning of mankind ever went out on a Friday night drunk too much and accidentally reproduced. Unlike many of your parents. And if only your parents were homosexuals, you wouldn't have to go through all this trouble. I mean, you don't look that bad, actually. Yeah, you look like you're quite happy at the moment. But probably by tonight, you'll be really depressed after having drunk 10 bottles of whatever. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it's been lovely being here. You've been um, quite nice to me today. Thank you very much. And not very to the And please remember... Not until now. You're going to convince us to go home. Are you going to? 
You want to convince them? Yeah. This guy claims he can convince you to go home. No, 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 not with the megaphone. I'll repeat what you're saying. I can't. No, post it. You'll catch it. I'll catch it from you. No, seriously, I might. How can you guarantee it? Can you write? Okay, you speak, just speak to the people. Go. Everyone, please avoid sex. It's sex. You're close to each other. You get corona. But if you put a condom on, put it in the ass, you won't get corona. That's what my doctor told me. I'm not lying. My God. Yeah, you got my phone. Don't you come complaining about lockdown? You deserve to be locked down, you lot, you're eating meat and milk products. Ugh, disgusting, barbaric lot. Addict. Addict, you can't stop yourself, even though you can get beautiful milk, amazing milk, you can make it yourself, almond milk, you can make soya milk, you can make every, I don't know, anything. Coconut milk you can make, rice milk, oat milk, you can make cashew cheese, you can have burgers that taste amazing. But no, you have to crunch your teeth into some poor tortured animal, don't you? Yeah, you just can't stop yourself, can you? You wouldn't do this to a dog, would you? You wouldn't do what we do in round the corner to a dog. You'd be really upset, you lot, if you saw do what they do in slaughterhouses to dogs or in the factory farms. You'd be going up in arms, wouldn't you? You're not there. No, you don't. You don't care about munching on cows and chickens. I don't understand that. Anybody can make it. Can anybody justify that behaviour? Anybody? Yes, go on then. Most fucking nice, mate. Oh, because it's so effing nice. <laughs> right. You really didn't really think it through very carefully, did you? Oh, really? You don't know about ethics, no? Uh, Never thought about uh, ethics, uh? Uh, you got any milk? Do I have any milk? No, I don't play around with other animals' nipples. <laughs> Can organic farming be justified? Oh, you mean organic meat farming? Well, not, not really, but I mean it's better than the other stuff, isn't it? So that's got to stop immediately. You know, the factory farming is the most disgusting, abhorrent state of mankind, you can imagine, I mean, we've been killing billions and torturing billions of animals. Who gives a shit? Who gives a, who gives a shit? Yeah. Okay, yeah. you don't care about the animals? No, I don't. 65 don't. billion of them tortured and murdered. Why don't you care about them? You've been cooking them for years? Yeah, I'm a chef. You're a chef? Yeah. Alright, so how many animals have you been responsible for killing over oh, the years? Thousands. Thousands? Thousands. Lovely. I don't do it personally. You don't do it personally? But, no, I work, but you would. I work as a volunteer. Would you, would you? Listen, yeah. I work as a volunteer. You're a volunteer? Yes. I yep. cook for 120 people you who have no money. You cook for 120 people? A day. A day? Dessert and main. Dessert right. and main? Yeah. And I work my butt off. You work your butt off? Yeah. Right. Yes. So, I don't see the point of this. You don't see the point of this? No. I'm just I'm thinking, I'll, I'll tell you what the point is. Yeah. I mean, it's all very nice that you're doing that with yeah, your time, as yeah, opposed to doing something else. In other words, you're helping people. But you are also uh, involved in some pretty uh, thoughtless and barbaric act of violence towards thousands and thousands of like. I mean, look at it from the point of view of the cows, do you know what I mean? If they were able to express themselves, what do you think they would say to people like you? It's called life. It's called life? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's there are lots of things that are called life. Human beings are able to overcome even their natural urges, which sometimes can be very, very destructive and cruel. I'm sure you've held yourself back on occasion, haven't you? Now you're being pedantic. Now I'm being pedantic. Let the cows breathe. Let the cows Watch breathe. How, how much the ozone there goes. Watch yeah. how much the ozone there yeah, goes. Yeah, because they create shit, which creates methane. Oh, they create crap that creates methane. Yeah. And that's good for the ozone there, is it? Well, no, obviously, that's oh, what so, I said. Exactly, so why, why are people still eating them? Yeah. Let them go out, let them stop with those whole things. It's called culling. Culling? Yeah. Culling, right. Yeah. yeah. If you stop eating them, then you, you, don't, you don't have to cull them. Um. Yeah. Anyway, it's been well, lovely talking to you. Thank you very much for coming yeah, over. I, you know and, uh, I've got a good point. You, you, you think I know that you've got a good point? You know I. You have a good point. Yeah. What's your point? I still haven't got it. Well, we need animals to live. We need animals to live. Is that right? Yes. Well, I don't. I have not had to use any animals to feed myself well, for four years. Oh, right. So I'm still here. To be honest, I'm not saying that I am the picture hot. of well wellness and, you know, I'm not some sort of, you know, Pop up poster for, for, for right. veganism, but I am still alive, so I'm fairly well. Only just. Only just, you're right. Good point. Yes, I mean, we're all only just alive to some extent, aren't we, in any moment? Have a day off! Have a day off! That's what my psychopath!
Thomas said to me the other day, okay, I'll tell you what, with the, okay, I'll have a day off if you say so. Have a day off. You sound like my wife. 